What's up, everyone? Uh, I recently got access to Kriya AI. Kriya is a creative suite that lets you use a bunch of AI tools within their website. And although they have a lot of interesting image generation tools, I want to focus on two specific ones, and that's the real-time editor and the upscale and enhance, since I find these the most interesting. It's still in development, so there is a waiting list to use it. I will include the website in the description below if you're interested in signing up. You can also bypass the waiting list by paying for the monthly subscription. So let's test it out and see what it can do. Like I said, Kriya has a lot of AI generated tools, but these specific ones run so slow for me. Sometimes it doesn't even generate anything at all. I hope this improves in the future since they have made improvements on the real-time generator, which is what we're gonna look at now. I really wanna highlight these two right here. I wanna highlight the real-time generation and upscale and enhance. So let's go to real-time generation. Let's see what it does. So right here we have a leaf and we have a, this pink circle and this blue square. And this is what it's generating based off of that. If you mess around over here with the strength, it's gonna give you different results as you see here. And you move these around and it's going to generate something different based on the shape you have here. You can add more shapes. You can take away shapes right now. I'm just going to remove these. It gives you options here to like choose uh, photos, textures, some illustrations. For example, let's say doing all these mountains right here, right? You got these mountains and it's still following the prompt that's down here where it says pink frog on top of blue mushroom. Of course, if I put like ocean, it's going to look more like the original image. What's really cool about this is like, say I make this a color, right? Something that's a little bit less bright. And then I want to add an image here. Let's say I want to add like a Nike shoe, for example. At first, it doesn't really know what it is. What is this, right? An ocean? I'm just gonna put Nike shoe. And yeah, pretty much the same thing. So like, if you bring this image up right here, it shows different options here. It shows like to remove the background. So it's. I think this works kind of like uh, Photoshop when you do background removal. All right, so it removed the background. It took a while to do that. I don't know what this is gonna do if I start to paint on this, like a certain color. Let's try to see what it'll do if like I add like yellow here. So yeah, all this red, it makes it into yellow. You can also just play around a little bit more here with the strength. Obviously the more strength you add, the less it's gonna look like the image. If you bring the strength lower, it's gonna look more like the image. You can play around with these. Let's say you're like a shoe designer and you wanna add something to this, right? And you wanna add like this stripe right here. You see now it's starting to add like little elements as you can see right here. And as simple as that, you already color this in. It allows for, for you to kind of visualize what something may look like if you're like a product person who's just like working on this. And this is this is me just doing random stuff, right? It's not something crazy, right? Uh, obviously, if there's somebody more skilled at this, they can probably do something that looks way cooler than this. But it's just an example of what the possibilities are. Let's say you're liking what you're seeing here. You can also bring this back in here and just keep adding to this, right? And then you can play around with the... AI strength, and, yeah, and, you, and then it starts to transform into something that's way different than the original image. And you can just keep doing this, like keep adding it and then just transforming it, adding more and more stuff to it, paint more over it. You can change this to Adidas, and then it looks like an Adidas shoe. It's, uh, it's pretty funny. There's some style options here that give you quite different looks. At the moment, your options are cinematic, illustration, bloom, and product. There's also a quick enhance icon you can click on to enhance the image, which makes it look a little bit cleaner. I can see just this being useful for people who create like designs and stuff. So I think this is a really, really cool tool for that kind of thing because it's very interactive. And if you want to delete everything, you just come here, clear canvas, and it's going to clear everything for you. You can use a paintbrush and then start drawing something if, like you can do like a very crude looking shoe. And then obviously the more details you add, you can bring up the, the strength right here and it starts to generate it for you. So from this image, I got this image right here and you know, you can play around with the seed too and see, get different results based on different seeds. Random prompt is also gonna just do something random, but that's if you're not looking for something specific. Obviously, if you have a drawing tablet, then this is even easier than doing it the way I'm doing it with the mouse, which I will do right now when I show you how you can technically even use Photoshop with this if you don't wanna use these tools. Cause I will be honest, some of these tools are just a little bit tedious to go kind of go back and change the color and then swap up another color. It doesn't work as smooth as when you're using it in Photoshop. You can technically use Photoshop by using screen to image. You go to your window, go to your Photoshop window, share that. The only thing is like, I don't know why it looks so small here. Like I have to like expand this so much. Uh, maybe there's a better way to do this, but this is the only way I was able to do it. Now I, I go into Photoshop and I have my drawing pad right in front of me. So now I, I have a little bit more control, right? Of what I'm doing versus before. And then I can change colors and stuff like that. You know, this is using it through Photoshop. Let's try something different, Ninja Turtle.
Wow, not too bad. My drawing, on the other hand, is horrible. <laughs> but we can improve this even more by sending this to upscale and enhance. Let's see what it can do with this. All right, so we upscale this and oh man, this looks way better. Yeah, I mean, the hands, you know, the hands are not that good. But then the drawings of my hands weren't good. So you take this into Photoshop, clean it up, you're set. You can see how blurry it was before, how much like it was lacking some of those little extra details. And then you get those details here. We're already used to seeing real time drawing and real time image to image and all that. We're all getting used to that. But I think it's cool about Kriya is that it's offering all these options and all these ways to do it. Like, like I just finished this drawing. I can bring in an image and do image to image, or I can paint and do like paint to image, or I can draw and do drawing to AI image. There's also a webcam, which we're going to test out right now. It's just all these features. And then at the end, you can enhance it and just add so much detail to it. I think all these things combined in one service, I think that's that's pretty cool. I don't know if there's anything out there like that. I know that there are some other enhancing and upscaling services out there, but I don't know if they allow to do all that Cree allows you to do. And I don't know, maybe they add some more stuff to this. Let's look at the camera to AI. So let's go see what that does. Okay, so I am on the screen. Let me actually... Uh make myself bigger here. And the way I'm running this is through my OBS and it just picked up that I had a camera available. So that's how I'm doing this. Scorpion from Mortal Kombat. Let's see if it gets that, right? So obviously we you have to mess around with the AI strength. If I move too much, then it's going to, this is a little too high. Let me bring this down. Now we're seeing something. I bring the AI strength lower. It's gonna detect more what it really sees. So right now it's really seeing my face so it's not going to change it that much, but let's put something more like, let's say uh, Wolverine. Gonna pick up my movement a little bit better now that I have it a little bit lower as well. It's a bit slow. It's not really real time. I think I can see how this could have his uses. Let's say you're trying to do a graphic with a character and then you just wanna get something really quick. You wanna get an exact pose and then you just go like this and then that's your cover right there. You can play with the seed to see what it does. Changing the seed makes a big difference too. The higher the AI strength, the more style it will add to it. But like if you put it too high, then it stops tracking your face and it just starts doing its own thing. So you, you do have to kind of find a sweet spot for it. So you can bring this image uh, into here as well. And then uh, if you go back into image to image then it's the, and get out of the camera mode, let's, let's get me out of the camera mode and then just bring this image that we just generated. And then we can paint some stuff like, like right here. I don't know what this would be, but with a birthday hat. So we have Brad Pitt at a birthday party. So yeah, that's like a super fun tool. Like you can mess around with that tool so much. Uh, running upscale is also a very cool tool. I don't know if you've been seeing on social media, some people have been using images of old games and upscaling them and making them look way more realistic. Let's try it. So for example, like let's bring this one of Snake from uh, Metal Gear Solid and have like this character look a little bit more realistic. Solid Snake from Metal Gear. Uh, let's see what it does with this. I'm not sure if this is gonna work, but let's just test it out. All right, so it just upscaled it and enhanced it. So let's see what it does with this very blurry image. And then let's check it out. Oh, that's sick. Oh, that's so sick. That's crazy. That's so cool. All right, uh, I'm just gonna put realistic because it already looks realistic, but I wonder if it could look even more realistic than that. Oh, so interesting. Yeah, like I put realistic and it just made him look a little bit older. Gave him like a little bit of a meaner face too. Yeah, this is cool. I've been noticing that the upscaler and enhancer has been like having issues lately. Sometimes it doesn't fully generate anything. Sometimes it just stays stuck or it just says there's an error. And then I was wondering why. Oh my gosh, this looks amazing. This looks so good. But I was wondering why. And so I went here to their discord and it says here like uh, we're seeing peak loads lately. And that means a bit of degrading performance, a job failing because y'all are obli <laughs> obliterating our GPUs. We are working on the infrastructure to restore and even improve performance. 
We've thought about limiting the upscaler enhancer to only Kriya Pro users, but we have not decided about that yet. We will keep you posted. So they are currently working on improving this, but at the moment it works about 80 to 90% of the time. Uh, when it doesn't work, I just rerun it. And then at some point it does start working. But uh, yeah, it, 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 it is having some issues here. Like I, you play around with the AI strength, the more, the higher you go. The more liberties it's gonna have, it's gonna give you some weird results sometimes, like this one right here. So I had it at 0 0.85, and as you can see, it's making part of her chest into like a hand here. But then I brought it down to 71, and then now it detects it as part of her chest. But then it kind of uh, is creating something over here that's kind of creepy. I think it does very well with close-ups. Even if it looks very, very blurry, I think with close-ups, it does so, so well. Like this, this is all just blur and look at this. That's crazy. But then you, you get you get shots where it's a little bit further away and then it, it, try, it kind of veers off once the image is a little bit further away. I mean, the body looks amazing. The face is like way, way off. Um, it looks better here. It's missing a lot of that realistic look. This looks more like a PS3 graphics or PS4 graphics uh, game. Yeah, like this. It, yeah, the face just doesn't look good here. It looks really bad right here as well. Um, body looks okay. This is just like, oh my God, what am I looking at? It's not perfect. I'm probably just scratching the surface with what's possible with this. I just wanted to show some examples and things that I thought were pretty cool. I think for the price, it's it's not too bad for what you're getting. And I mean, I'm not getting paid to, to say this at all. Like, I think that uh, especially if they make improvements of things, if they keep adding tools and if the price stays like this, then I think that it's, it's worth it. I wouldn't say this is for everybody, but I think there's a specific crowd that this is good for. Uh, or just if you want to test it and just play around with it. So sign up and hopefully you get access to this and you can test it out for yourself. But uh, for now, like always, take care. God bless and peace. peace.